Hey gang, Evan Sutton here. I'm a producer and electronic musician based in New York City, also known as Astrolith, and I want to talk about Battery 4 today. We're going to do some tuned snare drums. We're going to create some nice fills to really round out this beat that I've made. So make sure that your reserve shoot's packed and uh, that your mom gave you your lunchbox, okay? Because you're going to need it. Let's go. All right, so I put together a little uh, a little beat for us to have some fun with here uh, using Battery 4. And uh, let me open up Battery 4 and show you what's going on. Uh, I've got nice layered kick, nice layered clap and uh, rim wood block flam thingamajigger, and then some hi-hats. Let's go ahead and take a listen. And uh, by the way, if you want to know how to layer drum sounds like me, uh, check out my other Battery 4 tutorial on the Depthspot YouTube page. Let's go. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the synths here. Okay. Okay, so as we can hear, this is a foul-ass beat. And I hope that's okay with everyone. I told you, you're going to need to pack a lunch today. All right, so what I want to do is I'm going to add a little bit of a snare fill, but I want to do sort of a hip-hop style uh, pitched snare drum. So I'm just going to put it at the very end here. Uh, just, you know, that kind of thing. Um, but first, we need a snare drum. So I'm going to go ahead into battery four, and I'm just going to add a row here. Uh, because we're going to need a few keys to dedicate to this pitch snare drum. What we're going to do is we're going to drop in a snare, and then we're going to assign multiple keys to that snare drum, and when we play in that range of keys, it's actually going to pitch shift the snare drum sound up and down as if we were playing a normal instrument on our keyboard, except it's not a normal instrument, it's a drum. So I'm going to go to snare over here in my battery browser. I'm under samples, and I was searching Apparat earlier. I just love him. Uh, I love him. All right. So uh, let's go ahead and, and uh, let's grab a snare drum, and I'll hit snare. Really enjoying this search system. So I want one with lots of snariness. You know what? Let's go with good old number two, my favorite. OK, so right now, this snare drum is assigned to the key range C1 to C1, all right? I'm going to arm my track and I'm going to go up the keyboard and find an empty key range. Okay, and boom. That's the last B. So I'm going to assign my snare drum to the next C. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this MIDI learn button again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit C5 and then I'm going to hit C6, one octave up. Okay, what that means is that now. I just went all the way up that octave. They're all firing this snare drum. Now, it can be really cool to assign more than one key to a drum sound because sometimes you might want to play it a little faster. You know, if you're trying to express to people that the British are coming or something like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to jump over to the Setup tab. This is where we deal with MIDI, uh, generally speaking, as far as the cells are concerned. And all I'm going to do is hit the Key Track button, OK? now. Everything's pitched up very, very high, okay? You might be noticing. So what we have to do now is tell battery on which key we want it to play the original pitch of the sample. So what I'm going to do is go over to the Editor tab, and where it says Root, I'm going to go ahead and switch it to the key on which I want it to play the original pitch. In this case, it's going to be uh, C5, because that's just my preference. I'm going to want to be able to go up above the original pitch. So now I'll go ahead and play C5. Ooh, la la, we're hearing the original pitch, and now I'm going to go up the key range. That's pretty good, huh? So now that we've got that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to record my fill, and I'll go ahead and, and just solo out this particular sound for a moment, and let's record it. Very, very simple. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to quantize these guys. And let's listen to that real quick. All right, that's cool. And you can change the pitch as much as you want. Uh, you can choose different pitches uh, that sound more musical to you. But let's go ahead and take a listen here. We're probably going to need to. Uh, 
turn this up a little bit. Yeah, let's go ahead back to the main section. I'm just going to go ahead and turn this guy up. All right, we don't want to clip at all, so I'm just going to turn that down. So it's not lighting up the red there. That's pretty good. And why don't I go back into the sequence? I'm just going to go ahead and make a little bit of room. Okay, I'm going to get rid of that open hi-hat. And that clap. And maybe I'll move this whole thing down. You know, just a little bit. All right. You guys ready? Here it comes. You ready? Get ready. That's pretty solid, and we can mix that up really nicely, have it nice and uh, in the forefront. And uh, you know what? Let's bring our buddies back with a special cameo from uh, my Uncle Johnny. At least that's what I like to call him. And there you have it. Creating a pitch snare drum sound in battery. You can also do this with a kick drum. It works out really well. It's very, very simple to do. It's a lot of fun with toms. Lots of possibilities here. Once again, this is Evan Sutton, also known as Astrolith. Catch me online at astrolith.net or here on the DubSpot YouTube page. I'm the senior sound design instructor and course designer here at DubSpot in New York City and online. I'll catch you next time. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.